Mm. Wow, I'm so excited for my first day back in school for first grade. What is that? Good morning, Agent Biederman. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Stay safe in school. I accept, but how? Good question, Agent Biederman. Thank you. Follow these simple tips from Agent Halley and you will. Your first task, safely completing a student drop-off at the beginning of the day. When you get to the parent pickup line, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have your masks on and your bags ready, and you're gonna say a quick goodbye as you head out the door. Bye kids. Parents, we know that you're used to, for many of you, getting out and walking your children down to their classrooms. When we open our building up again for students, we are not going to be allowed to have families come in for quite some time. So we're going to ask that you either stay in your car and drop your kids off in the parent pickup line. We will have staff out front supervising and making sure that they safely make it in. Um, or if you are walking your children, we're going to ask that you stop around the benches and say your goodbyes and then head out from there. All students and staff and visitors must be wearing a mask on school campus. Kiddos, you'll need to have your mask on as you approach the front doors. And you'll notice outside on the pathways, there are lines of blue tape. They are spaced six feet apart. You are going to want to make sure that you stay about six feet apart from the person in front of you and the person behind you all the way up to the door. You must then safely enter the school. Upon entering the school, you'll want to pay attention to your entrance. Entrance one is where our kindergarten and first grade students will enter the school. Boys and girls, you'll want to pay attention to the door with the teddy bear. You'll notice that you're going to enter on the right and the left hand side of the door is for those exiting. If you're arriving late, you're going to want to head to the main office to get checked in. The door for entrance one is on the right side of the library if you're facing the school, to the east of the library for those of you who are directionally inclined. These are the doors closest to the first grade pods. For our second and third graders, you will be heading to entrance number two where you will see a bookworm. Entrance number two is by the main office. Fourth and fifth graders, you will be entering at entrance number three. You'll notice the Mustang on your picture. You're gonna enter in on the right side and the left door is for exiting students at the end of the day. As a reminder, if you are arriving late and this door is locked, you'll wanna head down to the main office to get checked in and head down to your class. All other visitors to Crest Lane Elementary School will need to ring the bell for assistance and enter into the left-hand side. You'll notice that there is signage to let everyone know that we are expecting social distancing as well as masks. All students will want to pay attention to the signage on the door. If something says exit only, that means that you're going to need to enter in on the other side. Upon entry, you'll notice we have sanitizer stations located on all of our entrances. At each entrance of the school, there will be a staff member who will check you in, do a visual screen and take your temperature, provide you a mask if you do not have one, and ask you to sanitize. You have now successfully entered the school. Here is what you will do to remain safe while inside. As you enter the school, you will notice that there are tape lines continued down through the hallways and also a sign to remind you to keep your distance. 
This sign is suggesting that we try to keep at least four penguins apart, which would be approximately six feet. And you'll notice that the lines continue down the hallway. And in some areas of the school, we have signs to direct us for the flow of traffic. Just like a car, you're gonna to wanna to stay on the right side as much as possible. Here's another one of our social distancing signs suggesting that we stay one cow apart, which is approximately six feet. If you don't know what a cow looks like, you can also count the tiles. Each one of the tiles on our floor are one foot each. So if you have six tiles between you and the person in front of you, you are pretty close to six feet apart. You'll notice here a couple other different signs to show direction and you'll notice the tape marks down the middle of the hallway. Throughout the school, you'll notice hand sanitizer pumps for your convenience. Your teacher will be letting you know when it is the appropriate time to sanitize. You'll be sanitizing as you enter the school each day, as you enter your classroom, as you head out to the playground and return, when you're going to go eat lunch or breakfast and after you're done with meals, you'll be sanitizing or washing your hands frequently. You may, over the course of the day, experience the need to go to the bathroom. Here is what you must do in that case. Outside of each of the bathroom spaces, you will notice a freestanding sanitizing pump. You'll stick your hand under it to receive a squirt of sanitizer. You'll sanitize on your way into the bathroom and wash your hands on the way out. You may notice when you enter your classroom that things are a little different than you remember and you will have to act a little differently when you are in there. That is okay. You are a brave spy and you will succeed. You'll notice that our desks are spread apart. Your classroom desks will look very similar. Each of you will have about six feet of space on either side of you. And you'll notice with this desk right here, the chair is pulled out. One thing that'll be really important is when you get up to move, that you push your chair in so that we have a clear path for everyone to walk. But what should you do if you are to become parched? If you are thirsty and desire water, here is what you must do. You'll notice on the drinking fountains that the spigot to drink from has been taped off. We are encouraging you to bring a refillable water bottle you can refill them at these refill stations or at the water faucet in your classroom. Back in October at our booth through, we passed out one of these Crest Lane water bottles to each and every one of our Crest Lane Mustangs in their PE bag. We're encouraging that you bring those to have here on site so that you can refill them in our water refill stations. If you do not have one because you are not yet a student at Crest Lane, we will gladly give you one. If you lost yours or misplaced it, you'll need to bring a different water bottle as we only had one per student. But we'd encourage you to bring a refillable water bottle to have here with you. Please make sure that you can use it all on your own and that it has your name on it. You may wonder what will happen if you were to feel ill during the school day. Well, here is where you will go. 
In order for us to make sure that everyone remains as safe as possible, we have transitioned our yellow break space into what is called the sick bay. We have three stalls partitioned off to be able to maintain some distancing and to keep germs from spreading. We have three spaces with a chair, and this is where a student will go if they are sick enough to need to go home. Nurse Melissa will help determine who will be coming to the sick bay. These are students who will be exhibiting um, COVID related symptoms, and those are the students that we'll have to send home from school. Don't worry, you won't be left alone. We'll have a grown up in here to wait with you while you're waiting for your parent to come pick you up. You have done it. You have stayed safe in school. And now the time has come for your final task to safely complete a parent pick up. Upon arrival to Crest Lane, you will notice cones spaced out across the entire front of our school. For COVID reasons, we are going to be using both of our drive-through lanes for parent pickup. On the traditional parent pickup side, next to our first grade pods and entrance number one, you will see the cones for kinder, first, and second grade. Along our bus lane, we will be dismissing our third, fourth, and fifth grade students. Our parents may drive through the bus lane to pick up their kiddos. Our buses will continue to be using this space as well, but we hope to get those students loaded and on their way quickly so that our parents may use this uh, line to pick up their students in a timely manner. We do ask that our parents not pass the buses on the left and be uh, visually aware of students who could be crossing down at the far end of our parking lot. If you are a parent of multiple children, you will not need to go through both of the parent pickup lines. We will ask that you go through the line for your youngest student and we will retrieve your child from the other side using our radios if that is the case. You have now learned everything you need to know to stay safe in school. This message will self-destruct in two seconds. <laughs>